Hello, everyone. I'm Jessica, and welcome to Learning English with Jessica. In this video, we're going to listen and practice our English through many different conversations. You can play it again repeatedly while engaging in other activities to help your brain memorize the language. Be patient, and you will swiftly improve your speaking and listening skills. Now, let's jump right into the video. Topic 1. Waiter or Waitress Good evening. A table for three, please. Sure. This way, sir. Oh, uh, wait. Can we sit at the balcony table over there? Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. That table's already reserved. All right, I see. This way, sir. Hi, I'm Sue. I'll be your waitress for tonight. This is our menu. Are you ready to order? Oh, let me see. Um, uh, I think there's a mistake here. This is the children's menu, actually. Oh, my bad, sir. I'm going to get the regular one for you. It's okay. Here you are. Today our specials are fried chicken wings and spaghetti. Oh, honey, I'm going to get the chicken wings. Does it come with salad or french fries? Yes, it is accompanied with french fries, ma'am. You can order a salad. It's also on our menu. Right. So I think I'll have a salad also. Oh, let me take a look at the drink menu. Um, I'll have a cup of water, please. Would you like still or sparkling water? Sparkling, please. Oh, wait. Um, can I change to Coke? I don't feel like having water right now. Sure. How about you, sir? Um, well, I think I'm gonna get the grilled fish and pasta. Oh, there's catfish and salmon. The salmon just arrived this afternoon, so it's very fresh, sir. Oh, really? Well, I think I'm gonna have the grilled salmon. Is there anything else I can bring you? Can you bring me the ketchup, please? I don't find any here. Yes, I'm gonna be right back, sir. Gosh, my clumsy husband dropped the fork on the floor. Can I have another, please? Sure, I'll bring you the new one. Don't worry, ma'am. Topic 2. Nurse Hey, Liz. Oh, gosh, it's been a week since the last time we saw each other. Oh, May. Jesus, how are you? I'm good. How's it going at the clinic? Oh, gosh. I don't even remember the last time I had time for myself. I have a headache right now and I already took two painkillers. Really? How so? Well, a lot of patients came to the clinic in the last few weeks for health checkups. I worked my tail off and got exhausted. Poor you. It's so tough being a nurse. The charge nurse at your clinic is Dennis, right? Yeah, he's very nice. He helps me a lot. I got a lot of on-the-job training from him. Oh, I still remember the first day we worked at the clinic two years ago. After passing the state licensing exam. I was so confused and clumsy. I even broke a thermometer. Yeah, and you got freaked out. Oh, yesterday I got a patient who twisted his ankle and got bruises all over his body. Luckily, he got first aid right after he fell. Oh, this one reminds me of another case five months ago. It's a five-year-old kid who fell from a tree. Jesus, was everything all right? Physically, yes. But then he got acrophobia after that. Poor little boy. Oh, gosh. It's the clinic. I think I gotta go now. 
The clinic called and I need to come back. It's an emergency. It's okay. I'll catch you later. Topic 3. Dentist. Good morning, ma'am. Welcome to Dington Clinic. How can I help you today? Oh, hi. I brought my daughter here. She had a toothache since this morning and couldn't eat anything. I see. Can you fill in this form? Sure. Well, now you're going to see Dr. Philip. This way, please. Hi, I'm Dr. Philip, and this is Nurse Anne. Hello. Well, this is my daughter, Jane. She has a terrible toothache, and I want her to get a dental checkup. Mommy, I don't want to check my teeth. It hurts. Come on, Jane. The doctor will help you. That's right, Jane. Everything's going to be all right. I promise. Come here and lie on this dental chair. Okay. Can you open your mouth? Um, well, I see several dental caries on the upper teeth. Should we take the decayed teeth out? I think I'd better extract them. And get her teeth cleaned by removing the plaque and tartar. Oh, so do I need to make an appointment with the hygienist? Actually, I'm going to make a call and set it up for you. Don't worry. Thank you, Dr. Philip. Topic 4. Lawyer Hello, Barney. Good evening, Rachel. Jesus, I'm so sick of this marriage. I can't stand this anymore. What happened? He got caught with another woman. Again. This is outrageous. Liam? Are you serious? I swear to God, Barney. I need to file the divorce petition as soon as possible. Calm down, Rachel. I understand why you got so angry. But... You gotta think this through. Keep your mind clear and focus on what should be done now. And think about your six-year-old son, too. You're right, but this is driving me insane. My heart feels like it's exploding. My mind goes blank for a second, but there's one thing I'm sure about, which is I need to end this. I think I need help from a lawyer and you are the first one that came to mind. Okay, I see. If you insist, I'm going to help you to handle this. And it's important to find evidence of Liam committing adultery. This is going to be a fault divorce, Rachel. Okay, got it. But there's one thing I want to inform you, Rachel. The divorce trial takes a lot of time, effort, and money. And it's not going to be easy. So you'd better get ready for it. I understand, and I will need your support for this. Of course. You know you have my back, no matter what. Topic 5. Delivery Guy Okay, so it's all set. Tom, this is your first pizza delivery. The address is on the box. You already know what to do, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay, I'll go right away. Um, hello? Good evening. I'm Tom. You're Linda, aren't you? I've got your pizza right here. Wait, what? I don't think I ordered a pizza. Sorry? Um, but it says right here your address. 154 Lane Street. Broadway. Well, I think there's a mistake here. I didn't order pizza, though. That's strange. Well, okay. 
Uh, hey, Jim, I just came to the address on the order, but the woman says she didn't order anything. Are you sure? Uh, can't be. I already checked. Uh, hold on. I think I wrote the wrong address on the box. It should be 154 Lane Street, Broadway. Lane Street? It's like six miles from here. You gotta be kidding me. Jesus. Guess I need to go now because no time left. Hello? Hi, I'm Linda. I ordered a pizza from your place. I wonder how long it will take for me to get my order. Oh, hi. I'm coming to your place. You'll get it soon. Don't worry. I'm on my way. Okay, great. Please hurry because I'm starving. Hello? Pizza delivery? Gosh, finally. I've been waiting for this for like an hour. Oh, I'm so sorry for the late delivery. There was a mistake about the address, so... It's okay. Your pizza is here. The total comes to $23.88. Okay, can I pay by card? Sure. Hang on, I'm gonna... Oh, gosh. I forgot the payment terminal. Jesus, um, can you pay by cash, though? Oh, well, I don't know if I have enough cash here. Oh, gosh. I only have one $20 bill here. Gosh, it's fine. Are you sure? I guess I have no choice, then. Gosh, my first day as a delivery driver... Topic 1. Electrician. Hi there. Are you the electrician? Yes, that's right. How can I help you today? I need a few electrical outlets installed in my home office. Can you give me an estimate? Sure thing. I can take a look and give you an estimate based on how many outlets you need and where you want them installed. Great, let's take a look. Okay, so how many outlets are you thinking of installing? I think three outlets would be enough. Okay, that should be no problem. I'll need to run some wiring from the breaker box to the new outlets, so it may take a little while. Okay, how much will it cost? Based on the work involved, I estimate it will cost around $200. That sounds reasonable. When can you start? I can start tomorrow morning, if that works for you. Okay, and how long will it take you to finish? It should take me about half a day to get everything installed. That sounds perfect. Thank you for your help. No problem. Happy to help. I'll see you tomorrow morning then. Topic 2. Cashier. Hi, is this the cashier counter? Yes, it is. How may I help you? I'd like to purchase these items, please. Sure thing. Do you have a loyalty card? No, I don't. Would you like to sign up for one? You can earn points and get discounts on future purchases. Sure, that sounds good. Great. I just need some basic information from you. Okay, then. What information do you need? Can you tell me your full name, please? Samuel Jones. That's S-A-M-U-E-L Jones. And your phone number? 
1332453. Okay, you're all signed up. That will save you 10% on your purchase today. Thanks, I appreciate it. No problem. Your total comes to $2750. Okay, here's $30. So that's it, right? Yes, and don't forget your change. Here's $2.50. Do you need a receipt? No, I don't need one. Thanks. Oh, and our call center agent will get in touch with you afterwards. So please don't forget to pick up the phone. Okay, I got it. Thanks for your help. Thanks for shopping with us. Have a great day. Topic 3 Businessman Mr. Jerry, hi, I'm Frank. Thank you for making time to see me. No problems.、Uh, I always like spending time meeting young entrepreneurs. Well, you're a successful businessman yourself. I'd love to hear your advice. Thank you. So, how can I assist you today? I'm looking for advice on starting my new business. All right,、uh, what type of business are you thinking of starting? I'm considering opening a coffee shop in town. Nah, that's a great idea. Have you done any research on the local market and competition? Yes, I have. There are a few coffee shops in the area. But I think there's room for one more. All right. Have you thought about your budget and financing options? I have some savings, but I may need to take out a loan to get started. That's、uh, understandable. Do you have any suggestions? I would suggest creating a business plan and seeking advice from a financial advisor or small business association. That's a good idea. And do you have any recommendations for resources or organizations to reach out to? Yes, I can recommend a few. Let me write down their names and contact information for you. Thank you. I really appreciate your help. No problem.、Uh, starting a business can be challenging. But with the right resources and guidance, You can succeed. Good luck. Topic 4 Farmer. Hi there. Are you Heather the farmer? Yes, I am. How can I help you? I'm looking to buy some fresh produce. Do you have any for sale? Absolutely. What type of produce are you looking for? I need some tomatoes, lettuce, and cucumbers. All right, we have all of those in season right now. Here are our tomatoes, lettuce, and cucumbers. Are they fresh? Of course, they were all harvested this morning. How much do they cost? The tomatoes are $2.50 a pound. The lettuce is $1.50 a head, and the cucumbers are $1 each. Okay, I'll take two pounds of tomatoes, two heads of lettuce, and three cucumbers. All right, that comes to $9.50. Do you need a bag? Yes, please. Here you go. Thank you for supporting our farm. Enjoy your produce. Thank you. I will. It's great to know I'm supporting a local farmer. Yes, we appreciate that. Have a great day. Topic 5 Photographer. Hi, are you the photographer for this event? Yes, I am. How can I assist you? I was wondering if I could get some photos taken with my family. Of course, I'd be happy to take some photos for you. Do you have a specific location or backdrop in mind? 
not really, just something simple and scenic would be great. All right, let me take a look around and see what would work best. How about we stand next to this table? I don't think it's the best choice. Maybe you guys should stand by that tree over there. Really? Isn't it a little bit far from here? Well, the lighting is nice and the foliage will make for a nice backdrop. That sounds good to me. All right, let me set up my equipment and we can get started. Great, those look good. Let me take a few more shots to make sure we have some options to choose from. Okay, I think we're good. You can take a look. Sounds good. Thank you so much for doing this. No problem. I enjoy capturing special moments like these. These look great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was my pleasure to work with you. Topic one, teacher. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing well. Thank you. May I ask what you are doing here today? Well, I'm here because I want to talk to you about my son's progress in your class. Yes, of course. What would you like to discuss? I've noticed that he's been struggling with his reading assignments lately. Yes, I've also noticed that he's been struggling with his reading comprehension. One thing you can do at home is to encourage him to read for at least 30 minutes a day. That's a good idea. Do you have any other suggestions? Yes, you can also provide him with some additional reading materials that are at his level. I can send them home with him or email them to you. That would be great. Thank you for your help. I appreciate your dedication to our students. It's my pleasure. I want to make sure all of my students are confident in their abilities. I'm so glad to hear that. You're such a dedicated teacher. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any other concerns or questions. I'll keep that in mind. Have a great day. Topic 2, Secretary. Good morning. Are you Mr. Smith's secretary? Yes, it's me. How may I help you? Can you help me schedule a meeting with Mr. Smith for next week? Of course. Let me check his calendar. What day and time works best for you? How about Tuesday at 10 a.m.? Okay, I see that he's available at that time. May I ask what the purpose is of the meeting? We need to discuss the progress of Project A. All right, I will add that to the meeting invitation. Is there anything else that you need for Mr. Smith during the meeting? Yes, I need additional resources to complete the project. Okay, I will make a note of that. Would you like to include that in the meeting invitation as well? Yes, please do. All right, the invitation has been sent to Mr. Smith. You should receive a confirmation email soon. Great. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. It's my job to assist with scheduling and communication. If you need anything else, just let me know. Will do. Have a good day. You too. Topic 3. Mechanic. Hi, I'm having some trouble with my car. Can you take a look at it? What seems to be the issue? It's making a strange noise when I turn it on, and the engine seems to be running a bit rough. Okay, let's take a look under the hood. Can you start the car for me? Sure thing. Ah, I think I see the problem. Looks like you have a bad spark plug. I can replace that for you. Is that a serious issue? 
It isn't that serious, but it's definitely something that should be fixed as soon as possible. Okay. May I ask what can a bad spark plug do anyway? A bad spark plug can cause the engine to misfire and run poorly, which can lead to more serious problems down the line. All right, you're the car repairman, not me. So let's fix it. Sure thing. I'll also check the rest of the spark plugs and see if they need to be replaced as well. Thank you so much. How long do you think it will take? It should only take about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how many spark plugs need to be replaced. Okay, I'll wait in the lobby. Thank you again for your help. No problem. We'll have you back on the road in no time. Topic 4. Flight Attendant Hi, Miss Flight Attendant. Can I have a glass of water, please? Sure thing. Would you like ice with that? Probably not. Just plain water is fine. Here you go. Is there anything else I can get for you? Actually, yes. Can I get a blanket and a pillow? I'm feeling a bit cold. Of course. Excuse me. Sorry to bother you again. Can I order a meal for the flight? Absolutely. We have a few options to choose from. Are you in the mood for something specific? I'm thinking of the chicken dish. Does that come with a side salad? Yes, it does. And would you like anything to drink with that? Can I get a glass of orange juice, please? Of course. And for dessert, we have a choice of apple pie or cheesecake. Which would you like? I'll have the apple pie. Great. I'll put in your order and it should be served shortly. Is there anything else I can get for you? No, that's all for now. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't hesitate to let me know if you need anything else during the flight. Topic 5. Police Officer Excuse me, police officer. I was just a witness to a hit-and-run accident. Can I report it to you? Yes, absolutely. Can you tell me what you saw? I just saw a car run a red light and hit a pedestrian. And then the car drove away from the scene. Thank you for reporting this. Do you have any information about the car or the driver? I didn't get the license plate number, but I did manage to get a partial description of the car. It was a blue sedan. Okay, that's a good start. Can you describe the driver? I only saw the car from a distance. But I can tell you that the driver was wearing a baseball cap. All right, thank you for your help. Can I get your name and contact information in case we have any further questions? My name is Randy and my phone number is 555-1234. Thank you, Randy. We'll be in touch if we need anything else from you. Excuse me, officer. I was wondering if I could ask you a question. Of course. What's on your mind? I was just curious about the process of becoming a police officer. What kind of training and education do you need? Well, it varies by state and department, but in general, you need to have a high school diploma or something equivalent. Do I also need to pass some physical fitness tests? Of course. Either that, or you can join a training program at a police academy. That's interesting. Do you enjoy being a police officer? I do. It can be a challenging job, but it's also very rewarding to help people. And make a difference in the community. That's great to hear. Thank you for your service, officer. You're welcome. It's my pleasure to serve and protect. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. 
Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.